Good morning, everybody. Eugene Bear, fresh cup of coffee, French vanilla cream, and it's hot. It's helping my voice. I want to share a little point with you. I appreciate those that come in and check out my daily teachings. The Holy Spirit must be dealing with you if you've done it more than once. Uh, something you need to realize. God did not need to hear Peter three times when he asked him three times, do you love me? Three times in a row. He's trying to establish a principle. God does not imply. He makes clear by repetition. Have you ever looked up out of the mouth of two or three? You know, you can find that phrase. I'm a word grouping, a word phrase teacher. All right? Love. Uh, grace, mercy, peace, joy, righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. That's the kingdom of God. But that is a word grouping. In the beginning, spirit thought out his plan. So it's spirit, word, movement, or action. And God said, he spoke. Let there be light, and the light was good, and he divided the light from the darkness. I'm a word grouping teacher. Here's another one. Faith in to Christ anointing seal, the Holy Spirit of truth. You'll find that the Lord spoke in red letters in the Gospels and used the example of out of the mouth of two or three witnesses. That principle was used by Moses in the Old Testament. Somebody came to Moses and said, I saw Bernie steal Frank's sheep yesterday, one of his sheep, and he cut it up and ate it. Well, that didn't stand unless two saw it or three saw it. Then it stood and there was judgment. So that is a principle. I've applied that principle to the word. Okay, so we're looking, so repetition finds truth in the word. True witness to three major doctrine. Those are the mechanical tools I teach. Also, in text, also I found a really good one. Last, middle, first. Go to the finish line, go to the middle of the race, and then start the race on the starting line. And... Uh, Paul speaks of race just before his death. I've run my race. I've run my course. I've fought the good fight, and I have kept the faith in. In what? In Christ. Because if Christ is not in you, you're not of his. In is an important word. And so is it. Spear it. It is the spirit that brings unity and harmony. When you're born of the spirit, you join the sun saints, the beloved that are born of the spirit. So therefore, it's spirit united. Okay? Therefore, you're a sun saint, sun saint, or a saint son, and women can be saint son in the sonship, stewardship calling. Placed as a son, a spirit son, a saint son, mature and responsible. Okay, a godly woman professing godliness, godlikeness, and mercy and love and forgiveness. So, God doesn't imply. He makes clear, and how does he make clear? Peter, do you love me? Peter, do you love me? Peter, do you love me? God knew Peter's heart. He didn't need to hear it three times. He's setting a principle of three is major doctrine. That's what this is all about. And I'm going to read scripture, four minutes, 55 seconds. But after I'm reading in Titus, 
the third chapter, starting at the fourth verse. But after the kindness and love of God our Savior, Shua, toward men appeared, not by works. Now check this out. Truth by repetition. I have a true witness. In Ephesians 2, 9, it's not of works, lest any man should boast. Ephesians 2, 9. And in Titus 3, 5, not by works. True witness, too. And there's a possibility if we ran with that one and looked up those three words or looked up works and two words either side of works, we might even find a third one for major doctrine made quite clear. It's not of our works that saves us. We're saved by the gift of Christ, the grace and the mercy in favor of God through Christ, anointing the Lord Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, seal. Not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy. Mercy takes its place in between grace and peace in First and Second Timothy in Titus in King James. According to his mercy, he saved us. He shua, to, shua salvation us. And the renewing, oh, the washing, bathing, making clean on the inside by the spirit word in our mind hearts, our conscience is wash, bathe, clean. There's the outward example of John the Baptist, H2O, but the Lord Jesus Christ's baptism is spirit on the inside, not getting wet on the outside, but being filled full on the inside of spirit word. Wash bathe of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Spirit, word, truth, by prayer and reading, which he shed on us abundantly through Jesus Christ, our Lord, head, Lord of Lords, King of Kings, our Savior, Shua, that being justified by his grace, and I've got a TW right over here in Titus 2.11, for the grace of God that bringeth salvation, Shua, hath appeared unto all men, teaching us the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, the Truth Teacher, teaches us within our heart, minds, and conscience. I love you. I'm the truth teacher. Truth teachers, we're not here to please man and tickle your ears. We're here to open up understanding in the word in two or three different places in the word. Truth is found by repetition, repetition of twos, threes, and fours or more. Truth is not implied. Truth is clear. Three times the Lord asked Peter, Do you love me, Peter? Major doctrine. Love you. Bye.